After introducing you to the central highlands of Sri Lanka in the first episode of the Tropical Escape, we will now take you to the most beautiful beaches of the country, try some local street food and show you some more wildlife in the Yala National Park. Sri Lanka is a year-round holiday destination with two monsoon seasons and is home to some incredible beaches on both sides of the island. If you want to go to the south and west coast of Sri Lanka, the best time to visit is from December to April. For the east coast, the time between April and August is best. Let's start our journey a bit south of Colombo with Beruwala and Bentota, an area which is famous for its very long, sandy beach, just a two-hour drive from the capital. The location and the fact that the water is mostly very shallow makes it a great destination for families. Just outside of town you should visit the Sea Turtle Conservation Research Project, where you can find out how endangered and injured turtles are being rescued. The next spots are close to the lovely town of Gaul. While Hikadua is a popular beach town especially for party lovers, Una Watuna lets you connect your beach holiday with cultural sightseeing in Gaul. And for those of you looking for a much calmer place, you should consider Mirisa, which is also a great spot to go on a whale watching tour. Next up is the Yala National Park. Even though it has a beach, it is forbidden to go swimming due to dangerous currents. But anyway, this is not what I'm here for. We are now in Yala National Park. I'm here on a private safari with Gaia. The elephants we have already seen today, they were in the hotel. We want to spot some leopards today, right? We will, we will. Yala is the most visited and second largest national park in Sri Lanka. The park is best known for its variety of wild animals and plays an important role for the conservation of Sri Lankan elephants, Sri Lankan leopards and aquatic birds. It has also one of the highest leopard densities in the world. At the end of the day, I got lucky and we saw one of them just before the sun set. After this quick overview of beaches in the west and the south of the country, I now want to focus more on the east coast, which is still fairly unknown. Starting with Arogam Bay. Hello guys and welcome to Arogam Bay. This is on the east coast of Sri Lanka. It's known for surfing and as you can see behind me, it's a little fishing town. morning from Arugam Bay. We start this day with a hike to the Kurum Bigale Sanctuary, which is on a rock. Oh, this is quite a morning activity. Once there, a visit to the Kudumbigale Sanctuary can be easily connected with the safari at the Kumana National Park, which is famous for its large flocks of migratory waterfowl and wading birds. So we made it to Katankudi and we're now going to find some street food here. It's where we're out, it's like really hot, it's like 40 degrees or something like that. It's nice, it's crunchy, and it's made out of coconut, but it doesn't necessarily taste like it. So it's basically pancake and spicy coconut. Yeah, it's like eating a pancake. So this is Sri Lankan tea, which smells like lemongrass. It's, it's really <laughs> sweet. Mm. Very good. Hey guys, welcome to Pasipura. It's a beach on the far east coast of Sri Lanka and you have lovely weather and waves 10 months out of every year. Alright, pool and beach is really nice. 
but a frosty beer makes it better. Cheers. <laughs> Good morning from Trinco Mali. We're about to go on a boat to see dolphins and whales and then we go to Pigeon Island to snorkel and to see reef sharks and turtles and fish. But first we enjoy the sunrise. Trinco Mali has been one of the main centers of Tamil language speaking culture on the island for over two millennia and is known to be one of the oldest cities in Asia. It has served as a major maritime seaport in the international trading history of the island. The harbor is the fifth largest natural harbor in the world. I guess I found paradise and paradise is called Pigeon Island, right Daya? Yes, it's uh, one kilometer from Nilavali beach, the mainland. And we uh, have a very shallow, beautiful reef here. Some turtles, reef sharks, lots of fish. So I would say let's go snorkeling, jump into the water and see if we can see a shark. destination is waiting for you in the next episode with the Maldives. We take you to paradise and show you how to relax in style. Make sure to subscribe for new travel videos every Thursday and check out my Sri Lanka guide if you want to visit this beautiful country as well. Until next time.